Hey Taurus, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is your weekly reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus signs. Please note that the messages are general. And for cross watchers watching for significant Taurus in your life, the messages here can also be vice versa, okay? It really depends on your situation. If it doesn't resonate for you guys at all, you may check your other signs for important messages. The Three of Cups is showing up here. So you guys are feeling celebratory. This can also mean attending social gatherings this week. You are going to be reconnecting with friends and loved ones, okay? So as I was saying a while ago, Taurus, if it doesn't resonate for you guys at all, you may check your other signs for important messages, okay? Today, I will be working with this deck. This is called the Everyday Witches to Row deck. And later on, I will be opening up the messages more using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. All right, here we go. Any messages, please, Spirit, for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week. Is there anything that Taurus should be aware of, please, Spirit, for this week? So, recent past energy, we have the Page of Cups. This is Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? What I'm getting from this card, there was a sense of new inspiration in the past, okay? You also may have pursued a new passion or a new person, Taurus, but you wanted to approach things quite differently, okay? You could have showed this side of you that you wouldn't normally show to others. And whoa, we have the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Chariot card. So there could be a fire sign as well in your life. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like you were making a choice, okay? The Chariot card. There were two really, really important choices in front of you, but I feel like one of this stood out, okay, Two of Cups. One of these choices or one of these people felt like an emotional connection, something more intimate, something more spiritual, okay? But at some point, you felt confused what to choose. That's what I'm, getting, what I'm sensing here, okay? This could also be Cancerian energy. I feel like someone was older and somebody was younger here. But you wanted a sense of direction with somebody, okay? And like I said, you wanted a fresh perspective. So you could have went with this new person. Two of Cups can also mean you just recently met this individual, but you instantly connected. There was a strong friendship component in this one. Let's see. Current energy... We have the King of Swords. This is Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And we also have here the Five of Pentacles. So right now, there's an important choice, okay? And I feel like you're studying your choices. Because with the Five of Pentacles, something feels a little bit uncertain and unstable, right? So it's either some of you guys felt like you could have taken the time to really review your choices or your options before proceeding and moving forward. The chariot card can indicate a fast movement or a fast decision or things proceeding in a rather fast manner. So with the Five of Pentacles, somebody feels lost. It could be you, Taurus. You know, you could be reviewing the events that transpired recently or the decisions that you've made. It seems like you're seeing this situation in a rather logical perspective. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords, there could be some overthinking, overstressing, or sleepless nights. Uh, but you're coming out from this confusion now or feeling this... Um, feeling lost at this decision, I feel like you're coming out of this with clarity and truth, okay? It's all about reviewing what transpired because you will get the clarity that you need. Some of you could actually be taking a break or space from this partnership, okay? Let's see what's coming in the immediate future. We're going to clarify these cards in a while. We have the Ten of Cups. So there will be a, a sense of happy ending. I feel like this can also mean family, a long-term relationship. But just a sense of getting together here, okay? And we have the Seven of Swords. So, some of you in the near future, I feel like you want to reach out to somebody, but they could be a little bit distant or withdrawn. Communication may not be consistent or back and forth. Now that I'm seeing these cards, perhaps this important decision is something regarding with your partner because they're not being transparent towards you or you feel like they could be doing something behind your back because even though you have the ten of cups here that means there's a sense of emotional fulfillment some of you could be overthinking or maybe it's just hunching or sensing you may not have the facts down yet or any tangible proof but it's just a gut feeling or maybe out of your observation with your partner that there might be something off about this situation there might be not telling you something as well okay so let's see who and what you might be dealing with. What is their energy towards you at this time? We have the Four of Swords. 
So in the recent past, I feel like this person was quite in the dark, okay? Might also be this energy of taking some break or some space. So if you were making a choice between two people, maybe this person, the other person here, and I'm picking up somebody else's energy, they were a little bit in the dark about this. They were not ready to proceed and move forward. They were taking the time to review this as well. You know, because knowing that there might be somebody else in the picture, it can also mean recovery. Someone was recovering from something that emotionally drained them, okay? Let's see. High Priestess. This might be some somebody who's very spiritual or somebody who's very psychic as well. Because with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess, they seem to be quite a silent person, but is very, very deep. They see things rather in a spiritual sense, okay? So the High Priestess also indicates that there was a flux in the situation. Maybe at first you thought that this was the one, this was the right choice, okay? Let's see, current energy for this person, we have the Knight of Wands. This is fire energy, someone younger. So now it just feels like this person is a little bit, it's like they're trying to escape something, escape this situation altogether. They're trying to avoid uh, what is needed to be said and done for some reason. They're trying to avoid something to, to be playing out, maybe some drama, some conflict. But from you guys, you just want the truth, okay? You want this person to be more upfront. Uh, but they see this as rather something that is very scary, something that they're afraid to do. Um, maybe this person is not the confrontational type. Uh, this is something that takes a lot for this person. But I see that they're trying to escape the situation here. Okay, they're on an escape mission here. Uh, they might be actually getting some help from somebody right now. Okay, so let's see. This is somebody avoiding the situation altogether. So in the immediate future, we have the Six of Pentacles. This person is going to get back on balance, going to get back on track. Okay, and the Six of Wands. So both sixes three sixes in this person's end so i feel like there will be a sense of movement forward with this person they will also get back in balance get back on track um from being isolated i feel like they're going to come out of their shell here and just be more be more sociable okay I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of offers coming in for this person as well okay maybe you feel like this is the reason why they're be becoming secretive and distant from you um it's just that they're not letting you know letting you see all of these events happening on their end, okay? For some reason. They don't want you to find out. So, let's clarify these cards, my dear. Why is the Page of Cups over here? The Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. So, I feel like you guys were keeping one eye on a situation. You're, you were trying to be balanced, okay? I feel like even though this situation manifested so fast, so quick with the Chariot card, you were still trying to stay in balance, stay on course here, okay? And weighing your options temperance can also mean you've had best of two worlds Taurus somebody here was a, a bit more daring more bold while the other person could be a little bit of um, like a childlike personality and so it was a tough choice that you made but ultimately led to who you had a more emotional connection okay so why is the chariot card here please the magician and who communicates with you better because I feel like whoever this other person is, they're not really good with communication. This is somebody who is either not confrontational or who withdraws a lot in your connection. Okay, who comes and goes type of person. Why is the Two of Cups here, please? We have the Fool card. So you indeed move forward on someone new. You took a leap of faith on someone new, someone younger. Um, and it just felt like a relief here. Okay, like I'm ready. I'm ready to see where this goes. I'm ready to go with the flow. Okay, so why is the King of Swords here, please? Three of Wands. For some of you, you are still waiting for someone to respond or someone to be more upfront. Um, okay. Three of Wands can also mean you're about to manifest. There's, there's a major move that you're about to do, Taurus. That will completely change your circumstance okay but you're just waiting for the right of right opportunity or window of opportunity to make that happen so we have the ten of pentacles amazing there's two tens in this reading so 
if you have just recently felt lost i feel like you will find your way back okay to each other there's a possibility of reconciling with someone here why is the nine of swords here page of wands so also some of you guys could be in this energy of i want to release the past i want to focus on this new path i want to get back to stability i want to get back to the people that i love you know i want to get in touch with my sense of community so the thing is you don't want to force someone if they don't want to talk to you but you're still waiting for the opportunity to maybe engage um, and have a straightforward conversation with this person yes you're hoping for reconciliation but the thing is if they don't want to reciprocate you're going to move on on this new cycle okay so why is the ten of cups here please we have the queen of pentacles this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn that might be you but your divine counterpart is showing up here okay um if you are a male watching this video this might be your divine feminine counterpart so taurus I feel like you're feeling really, really stable where you are, but parts of you is aware that somebody might try to get your attention again, try to be part of your life. You are now moving on to a more stable connection, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, but it's like parts of you are just keeping an eye on this individual for some reason, okay? Maybe you know they're up to no good or they could be doing things behind your back, something on the background that they may try to do. Now, we're going to clarify these cards on the other hand. We have the Queen of Cups. So, like I said, a very psychic individual. Someone is very emotional as well. Um, they took things rather personally here, Taurus. I feel like they needed some space to get back on healing, okay? Needed to feel whole once again. This really hurt this person and drained their energy, okay? Why is the High Priestess here? The Death card, Scorpion Energy. Um... I feel like in the past, they were struggling to release you. They were struggling to release you because as you can see in this card, one door has already closed, one door has opened. So they were aware that you guys are walking out, one, one foot out the door, okay? But they were struggling to finally cut the ties with you here. That's the thing, okay? So it seems like they just slowly let this go, allowed you to move forward to somebody new. But emotionally, they were still trying to recover from losing the connection with you, okay? Why is the Knight of Wands here? So Justice card, Libra energy. For some of you, you may have divorced somebody that you were committed with, like marriage, okay? Because it made you feel lost at some point in your life, but you were moving forward towards a new person, a new love potential. So you could be still in this energy of maybe this waiting energy is you waiting for the result, the outcome. Um, so that you can finally be free from this person and fully dive in in this new partnership, okay? And until you hear the results, maybe uh, I feel like you could be holding back uh, on fully, you know, maybe going all out with this person, okay? That means marriage, that means traditional marriage for some of you. So the justice card, this person is getting back on balance. And I feel like both of you are keeping one eye on each other for some reason. Look at that. But this person it seems to be waiting on their justice here. Maybe is fighting for their justice. Please note that the roles can be reversed here, Taurus. This might actually be your energy. You may have felt like you needed to withdraw from a situation because your person may have cut your connection abruptly and moving towards somebody else. So you may have been the one who filed divorce lately and you're still waiting for the outcome. Okay, and you're fighting for that. You're fighting for what you believe in. And the Six of Swords, you're getting help right now to escape the situation and move towards a calmer place, okay? Or just to get a sense of victory in this. Why is the Six of Swords here, please? We have the Devil card. So, yeah, you're releasing the attachment. You're releasing, you know, this heavy connection, this force that you feel. Or this person could be in the process of doing that. Um, also releasing any obsession, jealousy, trust issues that may have tied this person from from you and you know unable to fully let go of the past is what i'm seeing it's their attachment that felt really really toxic here okay for some of you you might be keeping a distance from this person because even though you have already someone new here you know that this person might be coming in with an offer okay 
to try to persuade you guys to go away or come away with them what I'm, what I'm getting from this card they want you to take a leap of faith with them get away with them okay and you might be for some of you you know that this is a temptation and you don't want to fall for the same trap twice okay why is the six of pentacles here please so i feel like this person is going to bounce back from feeling heartbroken but there's also a sense of acceptance here okay there will be a sense of acceptance and the knight of cups i feel like they are probably moving on towards new love as well okay we have here the knight of cups a romantic person in their life a water sign okay so whoa a lot of cards so for some of you it might also be the case where you know you just want the truth to come out you want the truth you want the justice to be served and though you were rather feeling really really stable on your own it's just that you know until this things finally become resolved is the only time you can fully feel content okay at this time you are in this protective energy you're not letting this person in or you're not putting your guards down okay I, I feel like this can also be the case you know somebody might be the one making an offer towards you trying to get your attention because that can also mean the six of wands they are going to try to get your attention uh, because they want to get in touch with you guys again get back in this connection three of swords they haven't fully moved forward here so be careful if they are you know tempting you guys or making an offer that they think you can't say no okay because with the justice card here it feels like they're trying to play with fire they're trying to get the upper hand in the situation taurus okay so that's why the high priestess is, say, is saying there's a flux in this situation be careful of drama even though this is someone very secretive they're withdrawn uh, you'll never know what their true intentions is okay especially with the devil card over here if they don't let go or release of jealousy obsession and and possibly any pessimistic kind of mentality or thinking okay so please focus on your healing okay and just focus on the people that you can really really trust family and friends you know there will be a right time for everything to take place don't overstress and overthink about this person right focused on the people that are around you right now okay and so with the seven of swords and four of pentacles you know it will only be a matter of time for things to be revealed okay and the outcome to be revealed so as advice cards we're gonna get one card for you one card for the person you're dealing with and one card for the overall energy or relationship okay one card please spirit for taurus okay so it says here forgiveness right forgiveness this card means forgiving yourself forgiving the people that were involved okay releasing any residual feelings or emotional hooks that can make you stay in this loop here or just make you feel like you're always constantly on the lookout um because this will just limit you taurus this will limit you from fully enjoying this relationship or partnership that you already have and this is what's coming in the near future okay in this energy as well right now forgive the past so that you will no longer be filled with this negative thoughts and you can fully focus on this new path that you were in and trust me good things are about to come towards you okay when i say good things it's really really good a lot of stability a lot of love as well and reconnecting with your loved ones so just give this more time sooner or later you will get the clarity that you need so forgive yourself and forgive others okay let's see what is this person's energy we have acceptance so they need to accept what has happened in the past and they need to let go because right now they could be struggling feeling like something is lacking in their life and so that's why i feel like they are in this devil energy right now uh, someone is struggling with control you know they're struggling with control because they don't can't accept the outcome they want to control the outcome here okay so also with the knight of cups be careful if this romantic offer just seems a little bit too good to be true because chances are it is you know this knight of cups means they could also be changing their mind a lot depends on their on how they feel so there's a void that they want to be filled right now they want your acceptance they want this sort of validation towards that you still want them because they can't seem to accept that you have already moved on and you're forgiving the past okay so let's see what is the energy overall we have enlightenment use the wisdom that you have taurus discernment is needed over here 
right? So you guys are also getting a lot of downloads from spirit right now. So please be guided. Sit on this, introspect, meditate. Don't be rushing in and making any decisions right now. And also use that wisdom that you have to see things in a bigger perspective and therefore allowing you to open your heart for forgiveness as well as this person. This person needs enlightenment and it's the beginning of acceptance, okay? So that is your reading, Taurus. Please take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.